Hi, I'm Jeff Yarger. I'm a professor of chemistry, biochemistry, and physics at Arizona State University. I'm the instructor for the online version of BCH 341, which is physical chemistry with a biological focus, uh, the online class version in the fall semester of 2018. And for this semester, we'll use the same primary textbook that's used on the on-ground version at Arizona State University and the, on the Tempe campus, which is Tinoco's book in Physical Chemistry, Principles and Applications in Biological Sciences. As an optional text, which is freely available for ASU students, is Jim Allen's book, who's a professor at ASU in biochemistry on biophysical chemistry. Uh, and so we, we really can use multiple resources here in doing this. I'm going to make a series of, in, of overviews, uh, chapter overviews of Tinoco's book, but keeping in mind that Jim Allen's book uh, covers similar topics as I've shown here. Uh, the chapters uh, correlate fairly well to each other. And so it provides a nice ancillary uh, information along with a lot of online material, freely available online material, uh, both in lecture notes, uh, course notes, Wikipedia. There's lots of resources on the topics we're going to be covering, which is primarily we're going to start by looking at the macroscopic theory of things that describe the molecular world, chemistry and biochemistry, and that's thermodynamics. And so uh, we've covered this topic before in that if you're taking this course, you've inevitably had university level or introductory level chemistry and physics courses. And in introductory chemistry courses, a common book for this would be like Brown LeMay here, which was used for years at, at ASU and uh, uh, continues to be used in a lot of courses. You cover chemical thermodynamics, thermochemistry, electrochemistry, equilibrium property, colligative properties, physical, uh, physical changes of matter, et cetera. In other words, we cover um, thermodynamics in a lot of detail in introductory chemistry courses. It's also covered extensively in a university physics level course as well, where you will cover th work and how it relates to kinetic energy, how work relates to, uh, is a form of energy. You cover kinetic potential energy, you cover thermodynamics very directly uh, in your introductory physics courses. So why are we coming back to this? Well, we're coming back to it to look at how thermodynamics, the underlying theory, can be applied to understanding biochemical systems. It's the theory which we use to understand the macroscopic world, and so we want to use it to understand biology, biochemistry. Uh, and so in doing so, in coming back around to a topic where most of the concepts we've seen before, we're going to be applying them to a new set of systems, to biochemical systems, we also have the chance to make sure we're all comfortable doing this at the mathematical level of calculus so that we can use derivatives, we can use partial differentiation, et cetera, to understand at, at a, a good mathematical level how to uh, manipulate these equations and use um, calculus, which is the change in variables, which is what we're doing. It's the dynamics of um, heat in, in systems. And, and to be able to do that well, we, we really need calculus. And so we're going to make sure we, we do this from a calculus level. Perspective. So if you've seen it before with more just basic algebra, et cetera, we'll be doing it that way. Also, it gives us a chance to introduce it from a molecular standpoint and build up through statistical mechanics or through the statistics of large numbers. Uh, so you can start with a microscopic theory like quantum mechanics, build up a statistics of large numbers to do statistical thermodynamics where you see these thermodynamic equations and concepts come out of the statistics of large number of microscopic particles or molecular level theories. And so it gives us a molecular level appreciation for this as well. So when we are coming back to look at thermodynamics, we're really going to be emphasizing those points, emphasizing that we're going to be looking at biological systems, emphasizing molecular level bio, biological systems or biochemistry, and we're going to be doing it uh, you know, at the level of, of partial derivatives, differentiation, integration, or the change or, or, or modern th um, mathematics using uh, calculus. 
So I'll, uh, this is the general introduction to making a series of videos and I'll be making individual videos on each chapter within Tinoco. And uh, I look forward to seeing you then.